Hi, uh, welcome to another uh, session of uh, Wing Chun Kun. Uh, I'm going to talk about in this uh, episode a, how to uh, deal with a first, first uh, strike, the first bridge uh, when you contact somebody. So uh, as a guard, uh, what you need to do is always obviously place your weapon directly in front of you and aim it at your target so that it gives them a threat. They cannot pass um, your weapon before they reach you. They have to contact the weapon first. So a lot of times you see they're gonna they're not gonna reach you yet but because your weapon is there in the front they have to get rid of this in order to attack you with their weapon. Um, assume that they have a bigger weapon like a staff. It's gonna be bigger, stronger and perhaps faster. So you have this in between. They're going to want to go like this into your blade to get rid of it and then attack you. So what you do not do is when they attack you, you go and meet their weapon and go like this. That is uh, very uh, karate-like, let's say, or boxing-like or whatever. That's like, you know, in Wing Chun, when somebody strikes you, you don't go like this and block it with a... With, with a force that's against force. Uh, as you know in Wing Chun, if somebody hits it, you try to get around it. You let it collapse into a bomb. So in this case, let's deal with just one sword for, for now. When they come by like this, you let it collapse into this, this configuration. So when it hits you, you're still not in any danger because this is just the first bridge they are still somewhat very far away from doing you any harm. So what you do when you contact, you let it go like this. You let it hit your weapon and you let it go into this position. If you don't go into this position, of course it will hit your hand. Go like this, he's going to knock this into your fingers. So. If it's come this way, you have no choice but to let it go. And you have to let it go anyway because they're hitting you with a staff. It's going to be stronger than your one-handed knife. So it's going to go like this. And when you're at this position, you attack. So once again, hits you. You let it bend. Obviously, this is the most crucial part. Try not to drop the weapon at this point. Because uh, if you don't train this well and your grip is no good and your wrist is not flexible, uh, you will have the weapon knocked out of your hands. So like this, and then this is going to cut from underneath up and against the, the wrist, the fingers, what have you. So that's the first contact. Let them hit the weapon. Let the weapon bend and move and protect yourself. And when you get to the other side, cut from underneath. Now, as same as if he was coming from the other side. Hit this side, go into a bomb. And then an overhand cut. So once again, you're like this. You're aiming your weapon at your opponent. They want to make the first contact, they want to do this, and then this. So when they do this, it's just like, uh, you know, they push the head down, you give them the elbow. This is like the elbow in the ball. Once you give them the elbow in the ball, you move forward. Using this corner of your blade as control. You move forward. And then once you get the control, you flip the blade over and chop. So that's coming from overhead this side. So it comes from underneath. When you're doing a low ball and hits you from underneath, go in and do a time, chop over. If you're doing low ball and they come from this side, well, then you just go over this side. Hope you like it. Have a nice day.